We're looking at the evolution of Formula One cars and celebrating 60 years of Formula One Grand Prix racing here at Silverstone. We've got a car from each of the decades. Today, it's the 1970s, slicks, wings, side radiators. This is a 1974 McLaren M23 driven by the great Emerson Fittipaldi. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun, but the wine and the song like the seasons have all gone. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun, but the wine and the song like the seasons have all gone. So a 1974 McLaren M23, Notice how wide and low the chassis is and how fat the tyres are. These are cars that I used to go and see when I was a kid at Brands Hatch. Uh, I don't feel unduly secure in it because it's a very, very low tub. I've got an upper body panel here, but if I move, I move the panel with me and you can see where it's broken, where its uh, driver's shoulders have tweaked it. But it's got a great Cosworth engine in it, five-speed box. Okay, let's see how this McLaren M23 goes from 1974. It's self-starting now. It would have had an air starter back in the days when it was racing. It immediately gives me a good feeling that it's going to do roughly what I want to do, not altogether what it wants to do. Let's send it into Beckett. The brake, so a little bit low. Brake pedal's a bit long, I'll have to pump that up a bit. Get the tyres warmed up. We can use 10,000 revs in it. It's very wide across the gearbox, okay? After about 160 miles an hour, we're just, we're just hitting the limiter in top. Launch it into stone. Sort of looking through that plastic piece. I really like this car already. It's doing just what I wanted to do. Turns it in. Engine delivery is good. It sticks its back end out a little bit. But firing up to have it. Did the brakes a bit of a squeeze? Oh yeah, lovely, that sort of 70 slide going on there, great. Into bridge corner. Super, just what you need. Oh yeah, that little bit of power slide there. Bit of curve. Oh yeah, don't you try that on me. I can see why this car won 16 races and two world championships. Notice how the cars filled the narrow tracks and incredibly how the team stood beside the starting grid. This was the era of the likes of Hunt, Lauda, Peterson and Schechter. Driver deaths remained all too frequent. The Grand Effect cars would follow by 1978. Meanwhile, Emerson Fittipaldi took his second world championship with this car. Great car, I really enjoyed that. Did everything I wanted to do. Sort of car you could start to build confidence in and just really enjoy.